All right, in this video, we will understand the tags. Now, tags are the addresses which will link the Scala software with the PLC addresses, okay? So, if you have worked on HMIs, you might understand what are tags, okay? So, similar to Ellen Bradley HMIs, we have tags in the software. Now, let's say if I want to link this address p3 colon 0 slash 0 of my PLC to the Scala screen, I have to create its tag. So, let's create a tag of this bit. So to do that, now this is a PLC, this is a hardware PLC. So in this case, we'll go to the tags, right click on that and go to new tag and you will find OPC tag and memory tag. These are the two main tags. So you have to click on OPC because you are working with real time PLC. So click on this OPC tag and you can name your tag. You can name as, let's say tag one an int type. Now this is a bit, this is an on off bit. So in this case, you can take int two. Okay, just an on of type. The server you have to select is Ignition Server and Item Path. This you can do by clicking on this button and just expand your server, expand your devices. Now this M1400, this is similar to what we saw here, M1400. Okay, so click on this M1400, you'll find different addresses here. So we are using B3, this is the word address and B3 colon zero slash zero, this is the one. So click on OK you'll find the item path given as that. B3 colon zero slash zero and before that in brackets you have your device name. So click on apply and click OK. So you have the tag one which is linked with B3 colon zero slash zero. Okay, this is the tag. Now this is the value. Now, if I go to the PLC and I activate this bit, this is high. So this is, you can see this is one here. So this tag is reading the value which is in the address B3 colon zero slash zero. Similarly, we have another tag, b3 colon 0 slash 3. If you want to read its status, what you can do is, you can go to tags, go to new tag, OPC tag. This time OPC server is again same. I'll name it as tag 2. Path I can select again from here, device 1400, b3. It is 0 0.3, 0 slash 3. Okay, apply and okay. Right, again go back to PLC. Now when I turn on this bit, this is on and this is on. So these both tags are high. If I turn it off, these tags are low. Okay. Now this was about on off tag. Now let's create a new tag, OPC tag, tag three, let it be int four. Okay. Or you can take int eight. This is eight bit data, four bit data. Okay, you can take it four. And again, I'll give UP server. Now this time I'm going to read a data address and seven colon zero. Okay, apply and close. So this is the value. Now I'll go to the PLC. I'll take in seven colon zero. Here I'll put a decimal value, let's say 12. So you'll find this value 12 here. This is in four, four bit address. Okay, this is two bit. So this is reading the word address. If I put 10, you will find 10 here. All right, so this is how you can give the tags in the Scala screen. Now, how to utilize these tags, we'll see that in further videos by creating the elements from the display elements and buttons. Now, we you'll also find one more tag which says memory tag. Now, memory tag are generally used for simulation. In memory tag, I can give, I'll just write m tag one. I can give some value. By default, I can give five, click enter. So you have a memory tag which is by default having a value of five. Okay, so for example, if I take an LED display, okay, and I assign this display the tag of my numeric entry. So this is going to read which, which is inside this N7 column zero. This is 10, so this is 10. If I make it three, you'll find this will change to three. This is reading the OPC tag. But if I change that to your memory tag, it will directly read what is in the value here. So if I make it 15, it will read 15. So these are the different tags, memory tag and OPC tag. OPC is to read the information from external world. Memory tag is you can change, read and write the information inside this or tag section only. And to enable read and write operation, you have to make sure your project is at communication read write. If it is only at read only, it will not write the values. If it is at off, it will not read write the value. You have to make sure it is on communication read write. So this was about the tags. And if you have any doubt, give me a comment. Thank you.